Tasiling Secreted Building is the third secreted building which has been constructed in the state of Sikkim. The first was constructed in the year 1950 and the second after joining the Indian Union. But it had to be demolished due to irreparable damages incurred during the devastating earthquake of 2011. The eight-storied building, which will serve as the epicenter of the administrative complex, is been constructed with earthquake-resistant technology and has two basements. The total build-up area of the main secreted building is 1,23,900 square feet, with a basement parking facility for 94 vehicles, along with VIP parking for 20 vehicles on the rear side of the main building. Honorable Chief Minister's office is at the fifth floor of the building, while Block A will serve as the office for Honorable Chief Minister, Cabinet Ministers, Chief Administrators and Home Department. The Block B will serve as the block for many other departments and its build-up area is 91,300 square feet. We have also constructed elevated exit road, widened and extended approach road to the Block B from the main gate. The entire infrastructure is constructed with pile foundation, thus making structure earthquake resistant. Today, this Tasseling Secretariat is being inaugurated through the hands of Honorable Chief Minister Sri Pawan Sagling. This will serve as a big asset for the people of Sikkim. After the inauguration, this secretariat will be dedicated to the people of Sikkim and which will be highly beneficial for all the people of the state. As every work who will be executed from this very building, I and also on behalf of the department would like to extend deepest gratitude to Honorable Chief Minister Sri Bawan Chamling. <laughs> यसको लागि म आन्तरिक हृदयबाट विभागको तर्फबाट सिक्किम सरकारलाई सम्माननीय मुख्यमन्त्री महोदयलाई आन्तरिक हृदयबाट धन्यवाद दिन चाहन्छु Sikkim falls under seismic zone 4 and the design of all these structures accordingly conforms to relevant IS codes of practices and BIS norms. With this, I conclude the te technical report of the project. Thank you. Friend, it is a small felicitation ceremony. Our tech consultants, private limited, is a Kolkata based professional. Multidisciplinary organization and panel in the World Bank and EDP under the chairmanship of Mr. Shamalika Koshal, an eminent civil engineer. It was founded in the year 1984. The company, with about 200 engineers and architects, specialized in various aspects of engineering and design, has successfully completed various government projects in many parts of the country. A vision of buildings is always assisted by a capable execution team and ECPL has been able to do just that. Taking today's ceremony as a perfect opportunity 
we felicitate their contribution for successful accomplishment of this mega project. May I now request the team guests to kindly present a certificate of project completion and shawl to the chairman of the company, Mr. Shamalindu Kushal, as a token of gratitude and appreciation. Mr. Shamalindu. Ministers, MLAs, administrative officers, journalists, intellectuals, and my dear sisters and brothers, it gives me immense pleasure to announce that today is a historical day for Sikkim and also a historical achievement with this inauguration of this Tasiling Secretary Building, we have decided to dedicate this building for the benefit of Sikkim and people of Sikkim. Therefore, I would like to congratulate the people of Sikkim and especially the youths. From today, this Secretary Building belongs to Sikkim. It belongs to people of Sikkim and future of Sikkim. Let us rejoice in establishing such historical building and once again my hearty congratulations to one and all. It is very important to let the people understand and be informed and also for them to contemplate on so many such historical works which is being done and how it is being done. When our government came into power, our state was a landlocked state, one of the poorest state of India and also a forbidden state. Sikkim was a state full of problems, but as our government came into power, we never took 
all these problems as problems but we took it as a challenge and an opportunity and we also became successful in solving all the problems and with it we gave new dimension to Sikkim. This is the third secreted building which has been constructed in the state. The first, also known as the Chief Court, was constructed in 1915 and the second after joining the Indian Union, which had to be demolished after it was damaged by the earthquake of 18 September 2011. The devastating earthquake of 2011 wrecked havoc both on human life and property. Many houses, buildings, roads, mandirs, gumpas, churches, and other religious institutes were completely destroyed. The catastrophe threw many challenges to Sikkim and Sikkimese people. Fortunately, we had the resilience and the willpower to gather ourselves and work towards rebuilding the state. We have reconstructed over 8,000 houses, repaired and maintained numerous roads, mandirs, gumpas, churches, buildings, and other educational institutes of the state. And the secreted building is one of them. A committee had been constituted to report on the condition of the secreted building that was destroyed in 2011. In its report, the committee had suggested that the building would be either repaired and retrotified or demolished for a new structure to come up. Considering the Sikkim is earthquake prone, being in seismic zone 5, the state government decided to construct a completely new earthquake resistant building that can withstand earthquakes measuring 10 on rector scale. The building has all the modern high-tech facilities for the officials and the members of the public who visit the office, thus giving the ambience conducive to work on cheerful atmosphere. This state-of-the-art mega structure can be a symbol to protect and promote our culture and tradition. The name of the building will remain as Tasseling Secretate since it is a legacy from the time of the Chogels and holds sentimental value to every Sikkimese. I would also like to inform that the government is trying everything possible to ease out the traffic congestions that people of Gantuk are facing lately. We are even planning to construct flyover bridges, diversion of roads, and tunneling of roads among few measures. I would also like to urge the civil society, particularly the divers of the state to come forward and extend the support to the government in resolving traffic related issues. I would also like to direct the head of the departments to shift the concerned departments to the new secretary within this month and all the offices in this building should start functioning from 2nd January 2019 onwards. I would also like to call upon the administrative officers to work with a problem-solving attitude and a touch of humanist. This would ensure that the government policies are implemented in letter and spirit so that the general public do not face harassment or suffer hardships in getting the dues. I would also like to mention here that the following schemes need immediate intervention of concerned officials for speedy and timely delivery system. Number one, free medical aid to BPL patients referred outside the state, including traveling allowances. Number two, compassionate appointment to next of kin for government employees dying in harness. Number three, disbursement of all is pension. Number four, ex gratia payment for death of drivers. Fifth, scholarship to students. Sixth, issue of trade license. Seventh, 
land of landless sukumbasis and eth ban on the use of chemical fertilizers we are now almost at the end of today's function and i request sri rajiv supa additional chief engineer buildings and housing department to propose the vote of thanks with the kind permission of today's chief guest the honorable chief minister of sikkim i am indeed honored to propose the vote of thanks on behalf of the buildings and housing department in the presence of such an esteemed audience on the successful function of the inauguration ceremony of the kashmiri secretary at the outset i would like to thank the honorable chief minister sir from the core of my heart for taking out time from his busy schedule and honoring all of us by gracing this historic occasion sir your words of wisdom will surely encourage all of us to strive towards attainment of positive desired results in the near future your endeavors towards setting up this grand complex has finally borne fruit and made the distant dream a wonderful reality today i would also like to thank the honorable minister sir buildings and housing department for his most valued presence and being instrumental in the success of the state government in bringing such a colossal infrastructure of massive importance in the state sir your efforts will be a stepping stone for future excellence in the engineering field to make massive and unprecedented strides in the near future i take this opportunity to thank the honorable member of parliament lok sabha the honorable deputy speaker all the honorable ministers present here today along with all the honorable mlas adhyakshas upadhyakshas chairpersons advisors the mayor the deputy mayor and other members of the municipal council for being a part of today's function we deeply acknowledge your august presence i would also like to thank the chief secretary sir the director general of police heads of various departments retired government secretaries other government officials and all members of the public for being a part of today's function and making it a grand success i would like to express special thanks to the departments of home dpr and nacad finance land revenue mines and geology for your wholesome assistance and support right from the time of conception during execution until the completion of the first phase of the project further i extend my profound gratitude to the energy and power department water security and public health engineering department and the nic who have extended all necessary support and have been instrumental in successful implementation of this project my thanks also go to the police department for effective mobilization of police personnel and efficient management of traffic for today's function my utmost thanks also go to the ud and hd for timely resurfacing of the approach roads cultural affairs and heritage department for dynamic display of entertainment shows the parks and gardens cell of the forests department for the valuable inputs and warm coordination and the bsnl for enabling telephone connectivity to the infrastructure i take this opportunity to heartily congratulate and thank the team from arctic consultants private limited for efficient handling of the project their professional approach and presenting all of us a comprehensive state of the art infrastructure i would like to thank the department of ipr and all members of the press both print and social media for ensuring wide, widespread coverage of this grand occasion last but not the least i would like to congratulate and thank each and every member of the workforce who have been who have put in their blood and sweat in executing the project physically at site with this i conclude my vote of thanks thank you all